making a video of uh, another one of the Halloween props I'll be using in the haunted house for 2018. Uh, this is going to be the main entrance. What they'll be doing is they'll be walking through a bunch of um, like ripped up sheets to kind of give them the feeling they're going through the woods or like a cornfield and they're going to come up to this old abandoned looking house, like an old farm style looking house. You see the skull at the top rotates back and forth. Uh, the doors uh, operated by a hand lever. Behind the window there's uh, there's window screen there. When the person's you know seated in their position you can't see them but they can see you so they know when to open and close the door. I'm gonna go back and show you the door opening and closing. You'll probably see me but if I was in a seated position in, you know in my position you wouldn't see me. And the first scene they're going to come up to is going to be my living room scene. As you walk up, you'll see the. Sorry about it's not looking super great, but this is just mainly for you know, testing, getting placements, see how I like stuff before I start setting it up inside the actual haunted house. The first prop they're going to come up to is an animated prop. It's my head turning prop. So what they do is as they come up to the door, they'll have a trigger. They squeeze the trigger, make the head turn. So now if the person has a trigger, they can move this just like I did, or they can wait till the people are right next to it to make it move. But what it is as the as they as they come through the haunted house, it'll follow them until they get around the corner. And then once they're around the corner, then he can finish rotating it back around to start position. Now the variable trigger, he can go as slow as he wants, or he can go as fast as he wants. Obviously slower is a little better. Try to get a full shot of this again. Thanks for watching.